we're going to be working on a Samsung Galaxy Tab E. It doesn't power on. And to me, it's obvious that the problem is the charging port. So we're going to go ahead and change the charging port on this tablet. I already took the logic board out and I did inspect the charging port and I see that there is a lot of bent and damaged pins on the port. So the reason the tablet is not turning on because the charging port is not working, it's not able to charge the battery. The battery is drained and the tablet cannot turn on. As you can see, pins are all over the place. Okay, so we're going to start by applying low melt solder onto the joints so we can lower the melting temperature of the pins. Let's just do the other side and then we should be able to easily remove this connector. And that's our new connector. We changed the charging port and now the tablet is able to charge and we are able to tell that the tablet is charging by looking at the meter here. Okay, so let's try it right now. So the tablet is charging at 0 0.4 amps. But the screen is off, there's nothing on the screen. Now, what do we do at this point? We do not know if the screen is the problem, and I do not think the screen is the problem because I do not see anything wrong with it. We let the battery charge for about uh, 35, 40 minutes, just in case the battery was drained and it needed some time to charge. But still, we do not have anything on the screen. Uh, we reset the tablet by pressing the volume down and power button. We also tried the combination where we press the home button along with the volume down and power button 
nothing on the screen. We do see that the tablet is charging. The fact that the tablet is charging, it means that the connector is working properly. So what is the problem? How can we troubleshoot this without spending too much time? Right now, we do not have a circuit diagram for this tablet, and there's no way for us to get a circuit diagram, and we do not know what the components on the board uh, do. So when we have problems like this, the first thing I do is I go to the battery connector, which is this one right here. I check the surrounding of the battery connector. So this one here is probably a charging IC. All components look good. I do not see anything obvious. I do not see anything blown or burnt. The tablet is connected to the charger. I want to check it under the thermal cam. So where's the battery connector? Okay, so you see, look at this. This is the battery connector here. This cable is the battery connector. This one right here. It's connected here. Now, the charging chip that I told you about, we see it uh, flashing. It's 288 degrees, that's not normal. So if you put your finger on it, you're gonna burn your finger. And I tried that. So is the chip the problem? Uh, most likely. Uh, as we can see on the thermal cam, the charging chip is flashing on and off, on and off. That's actually normal, but the temperature is not normal. 280 degrees, 290 degrees is not normal. Uh, we do not have another Samsung Galaxy Tab E to test and see if the properties are the same between the two devices. We do not have a circuit diagram to know what's going on uh, with the circuit board. Right now, what I'm going to do is leave this uh, to charge overnight. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna call the customer and let him know that we may have to uh, replace the charge on IC and that may or may not work. We do not know. The purpose of me posting this video on YouTube is not to show you that we were not able to fix a device. It's to show you the challenges we face every day when fixing devices. Not every device is fixable. I mean, you can see some devices takes more time to fix than others. This came in for your charging port repair, but uh, it has more issues than just the charging port. These are some of the challenges that we face every day when fixing uh, devices. The important thing is to keep the customer posted and to let the customer know what's going on. Now, I'm not gonna call the customer until uh, morning time. Right now, I want to give it a chance to charge in case the battery is the problem. I do not have another battery to try and see if the battery is the problem. Battery could be a problem, but the thing is, even if I remove the battery, I'm still getting the same amp reading on the meter. So that tells me that the battery is not drawing any amps at all. It's the board what's drawing the amps. So even after I remove the battery, the chip is still pulsating and the temperature on this is 275 degrees. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already done so, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.